Hi guys, it's Belle here and I'm coming on with what I promise is the last video for Margaret Miller Collage 2023 Collage Challenge. I just wanted to come on and do a quick flip through of my pages. Now, 2022 is Margaret Miller. I decided to do in a book. So for 2023, I wanted to do something different. So I chose to just rip pages out of um, a little book that I had in my stash because I was hoping it would give me more flexibility to stitch and sew and things like that, which you can see I've done here. But um, I ended up not doing a lot of that in the end. And when I started, I really was collaging, but I was trying to use things like this is an old birthday card um and some vintage pieces this is a vintage piece i really want to use my vintage pieces i don't like this page very much but i've used that up and i've got a vintage piece um i'm not keen on this page very much either but i decided to really just try different things this year i love this idea with the stamps more vintage and vintage buttons which I glued on I didn't even stitch on then I was trying to decide whether I wanted to rip pages or not and I decided against that but what did end up happening is this became more focused on memories or um, things special to me than I realized um, so this one's all about Valentine's week then one of the prompts for this one, I think, was a photo. Yeah, a photo of your family or family member. And I was remembering when I took my youngest to university a few years ago. And I just started um, think like this one was completely inspired by a book series that I love by Robin Stevens. Um, and this is a, a ticket of ours when we went to this place years and years and years ago when my youngest was like three this one was another one that was inspired by storytelling um and it was kind of based loosely on the famous five but also this reminded me of my dad i love this page this is one of my favorite pages just because i tried something different and i did actually stitch with this one i love the double stamping the collage how it turned out some dried flowers I tried lots of different techniques in here used lots of different things um pages die cuts inking but also it's become such a sort of memory keeping this was going to Whitby and meeting my crafty cousin friends who I've had for years Anna and Sarah so that was really lovely to do that and I think this was the one I really started doing memory keeping uh, like this one so this was remembering the fact that my daughter um, I, we went down to look at her wedding venue because she's engaged uh, this was another normal one the king's coronation Eurovision now I have to admit most years I do a Eurovision themed one but yes we've got the winner the Eurovision part of the lyrics this one kind of the prompts inspired me to make a whole page thinking about Sherlock Holmes and possibly a new Sherlock Holmes story. Uh, this was the month in May that my youngest actually finished his university. He's done three years and an extra year he studied in um, America. So this was the year he finished. It was his final day, the week he finished. This was in remembering um, the spring equinox, Ostara. Just a normal one this day. Love this. I think, oh, wait a minute. Oh, and this one. Love this one too. I got my texture paste out. I actually drew this little plant. I got a bit playful with this one. So it's one of my favorite pages, followed up by another favorite page. I did not draw this. This was in a magazine. I just collaged and inked and put numbers and did like all sorts of things. I love this one. This and that one are one of my favorites. You can see all the inking on the back there. I used another piece of one of my children's artwork, used some texture paste. Another memory keeping one of my birthday um, week when we went to Leeds Castle as a family. More texture paste. I really just enjoyed getting playful. Uh, this was a Tim Holtz photo and piece of vintage that's vintage that's vintage um so yeah that was just thinking about summer and what you do in summer another just playful one there was nothing great about this one but it came together really well same with this one came together really well <laughs> this one. um this page uh was in remembrance of barbie i can't remember what it said now 
a ticket I think so I themed it around my Barbie ticket going to see the movie and obviously it had to have a lot of pink in it because it was Barbie remembering the um, week that my nephew came down to celebrate his 16th birthday and we took him to London and did lots of things with him love this page love it so much that it kind of inspired the um, covers as well so I'm sorry if the light's shining on that flower this is a very cute page uh, with the leaves falling thinking about autumn hate this page it's one of the pages I hate most in here it really didn't work still don't like it we're just going to flip over and forget about it um, another memory keeping one which is when my youngest he finished in May but his graduation was September so I just loved using photos some rosemary from my own garden um, and it still it smells so great guys Again, another one, love this page, and it's themed around Agatha Christie and a book that I was reading called The Grand Tour, which is a non-fiction book about Agatha Christie and her letters when she did the Grand Tour with her first husband. Love how this one all came together. Another page that I'm not happy with, so much the colours and the layout, but it's in memory of when we went wedding dress shopping for the first time. My daughter, so this is a picture of one of the dresses we were looking at just the bottom bit and it says wedding and things uh this was just another page um just not inspired by anything i like this one as well this came together really well another memory keeping one of walks on the beach this is a photo i took when my partner and i went to whitstable for the day lots of vintage on here i do like the way this one's come together it's not a favorite but it all works really well it flows well piece of my own stitching there and that's gone that way it's the only one like that in the journal because i was trying something different another memory keeping one of i love the charms on here of when we went to edinburgh in november and this is quite cute and then again, this was themed around Agatha Christie. I think I've got three Agatha Christie ones in here. So it was themed around uh, her Praro books. And I was trying a different layout I quite liked. And then we've got um, Panto. And this one. And again, we've got a bit of Agatha Christie in here. What am I like? And the final one. And that's the back page. So that's all of them, guys. I have some real favourites. And there's so much memory keeping. I'm going to look back at this journal and it's going to remind me of all the great things in 2023. Our trips, um, my nephew's 16th, my daughter's wedding plans, my youngest graduating, my other son going to university. Um, yeah, there's so much in here, guys, that this has become not just a collage book, but a real memory journal that I can look back on and go oh yeah we did that in that month and oh yeah we went and saw the Barbie movie and oh guys you know I really love how this one has turned out as I said there's some pages I'm not as keen on but there are lots in here that I love that I really experimented with um like I said my favorite pages are the ones I experimented with like that one and this one i love this page so much it might even be my favorite page in the whole journal so that's it guys we say goodbye to marguerite miller collage challenge 2023 and we say hello finally to the marguerite miller collage challenge 2024 and i will be um back with the first video of that next week um and i'm going to do something a little bit different again but i'll explain that in that video anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this if you haven't seen any of these pages and have seen them now and thought, oh, that looks interesting and want to go back, there is a complete playlist you can check out on my channel. Don't forget to check out the links to Marguerite Miller's if you want to have a go at making some of these prompts. If you've been inspired to um, do something a bit different, maybe you've seen how I've done a few of the pages and thought, oh, that's an interesting way of doing it. And now I might want to have a go um and thank you to all of you who have followed me for the whole year doing this um i appreciate every single one of you anyway guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i will be back soon with another video until next time guys wherever you are in the world i hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun bye for now